What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meeper for breakfast. Um, I had a bagel and a banana, and for sort of lunch, I had a um, lot of granola and yogurt, and I feel very full. Um, but that's okay, and that's kind of the meta because. Um, um, I'm going to school today, so when I do go to school, um, I'm just saying, I'm just saying words, sorry guys. I'm going to school today, so, um, I, I got home kind of late and I don't want to eat dinner when I get home, because that's crazy, like, that's just way more time at home, like, not asleep than I need, um, and I really want to be asleep as soon as possible. So then um, I'm able to wake up as early as possible on Thursday, which is ideal, right? Um, things have gotten a lot better with my uh, lab partner being able to drive me home, um, and that's been super useful. Uh, but still, it's later than I would want to go to bed when I come home, and you know, I just want to minimize how long I'm not asleep. Um, but, um, you know, what? Uh, so, I try to have the morning be the only time of where I eat anything, uh, and when I get home, just don't eat anything. Uh, so I eat a whole bunch in the morning and the, like, early afternoon, um, and then I leave for school and I don't really eat anything the rest of the day. And something I've noticed is it doesn't really matter how much you eat, um, for a certain meal. Uh, no matter what, by the end of the day, you're going to be a little hungry. Um, and that's something that is, like, actively very difficult to not, like, eat. Because, you know, you eat when you're hungry, and alas, I eat a little more than I need to. So I'm not, like, actively hungry too often, right? Um, and I exercise quite a bit to, like... Um... I exercise quite a bit for that to like balance out, but it's still like a thing. Um, and so, um, yeah, I don't know. I just ate a lot of food today, um, you know. Uh, I'm trying to get ChatGPT working because I want to get ChatGPT 4.0. I want to try that out because I've heard about it. Um, and it's really stupid because for some strange reason, the only way to change your chat GPT password, like your OpenAI password, is to say that you forgot your password. Like, be logging in and be like, hey, I forgot my password. That's the only way to change your password, which is just crazy to me. Like, on almost any other website, you're able to go to, like, your account and then click change password, and then you're able to change your password, and it's, like, normal. Um, and it's just insane to me that you have to like log out and then log back in but say that you forgot your password because you're just lying you're lying to the website you didn't forget you didn't forget your password you're, you just want to have a new password so why do you have to lie to change your password it's so crazy to me that is like truly very surprising and astonishing considering how many smart people work at OpenAI. um it's just it's, it's just honestly really truly crazy Um, but yeah, I'm just hanging out. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day and, um, yeah, see you, dude.